I'm really angry that people have to suffer with cancer because it's so preventable. Cancer historically was a disease of age, aging. It wasn't so common that you see cancer in your 30s, 40s, and even 50s. Now we're seeing a shift. The window is moving earlier and earlier. Cancer incidence, like you said, breast cancer incidence is definitely on the rise. I myself never knew anyone that suffered from breast cancer or survived it until I hit my 30s. Then I knew five people that had it, including two people that I worked with in the toxicology lab. And what are your suspicions about the root causes of this rising cancer? I definitely think there is an, a huge environmental component to it because a lot of what was believed decades ago was that disease and cancer incidents had to do with your genes. You were just genetically predisposed. You were unlucky. But in actuality, what we're seeing now is that the environment plays such a massive role in whether or not you actually have cancer. So just because you have the predisposition to developing breast cancer, such as the BRCA gene, doesn't mean you'll get it. It really depends on your lifestyle and how you lived, but also how your ancestors lived, right? We talked about the multi-generational effect of these chemicals, depending on how your ancestors lived, how your grandmother and how your mother lived could predispose you to this. And have there been any studies that show the impact of these sort of everyday chemicals on cancer risk? Yes, and that's something that is, I don't want to say that it's exciting, but I'm glad that we finally have proof. I don't want to see these studies. I, I hate seeing this, actually. I'm really angry that people have to suffer with cancer because it's so preventable. There was a study recently that looked at removing certain ingredients from beauty and personal care products. So women without any history of breast cancer were asked to remove these ingredients from their products for 28 days. So that's very short, four weeks, right? Mm. They took cells from the breast tissue. They were all normal. They measured the amount of breast cancer gene expression. After 28 days, they took another sample so after 28 days of removing these ingredients, they took another sample and they saw that the breast cancer gene expression dropped. And the only thing that they were asked to change about their lifestyle was to remove these ingredients from their beauty and personal care products. And which products were they told to remove and what ingredients were those? It was skincare, deodorant, shampoo, things that most people are using. And the ingredients were phthalates which can often be found in fragrance.